Well, I'm back, and you guys know what this one's going to be about. Apparently my cat meowing. <laughs> okay, so New York becomes the second team of the night to sweep someone, and Pittsburgh is now out. So, two teams, two pretty good teams that one obviously the best team, and Pittsburgh, I always thought they were really, really good. Like, thinking back to like 2017, 2018, I was like, yeah, like, they're pretty good, so I didn't expect them to be any, like, worse. I expected them to be, to be the same, but my friend told me they're not the same as 2017. Clearly, clearly. So, anyway, um... So, just getting into it. <laughs> so, I have no idea who scored first, so I'm gonna have to once again go through all this again, because I did not set, set that up. I thought I was going to, but apparently I did not, so getting into it. So basically, New York won a game three, game one, four to three in overtime. So how, how it went down, Jordan Arbery scored to make it one nothing. Then Phil Kessel made it 1-1, one, one, and um, don't mind me ignoring my cat. I, I love my cat, but right now I, I kind of have to ignore her because I'm doing a video. Then Brock, Brock Nelson scores on the power play to give them a lead. Then Evgeny Malkin responds, 2-2 on a power play, then 3-2, then 3-3. Then Josh Bailey, 4-39 into the overtime, gives the 4-3 win to, to the New York Islanders, and the New York Islanders win game one. So now you're probably thinking, oh, okay, so now either way, going to Pittsburgh, it'll be at the worst 1-1, which is still pretty good, right? But once again, just like Columbus, they had other plans. They were like, no, I'm not going to be tied 1-1. Tied one one. I'm not going to be up 2-0. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Like, like literally. So anyway, before I get to game two, so the shots were 44-33 for Pittsburgh. So they had a pretty high scoring or high shot performance. That was a pretty good performance. Pittsburgh went 1-3 for three on the power play, while New York went 1-2 for two on the power play. Hits were 43-42 Pittsburgh. So both played a very physical game. And but that's basically that. So they just took a one nothing series lead. And once again, they had other ideas. They were going to keep going. They were like, no, I'm not, not going to let them win game two. Nope. So moving into game two. So game two, New York won 3-1. to one. So who scored first that day? Probably, I don't know who. Let's see. So Eric Good Brunson scores for Pittsburgh. There was no goals in the first first period it was zero, it was zero, 0 after one so he he scored to make it one nothing Pittsburgh in, in game two a few minutes later Bo Beauvillier scores it at scores and tie, ties it at one in the second period 754 and Jordan Abberley gets a goal and then Josh Bailey a few minutes later on the power play gets the third goal and the Jordan Abberley goal being being the game winner and the New York wins 2-1 or 3-1 and they're up to nothing in the, in the series Wow, eh? Damn, like, I did not expect that. Like, I didn't think that Pittsburgh was, like, amazing, but I didn't think they were, like, bad. Like, I thought they were, like, still, like, pretty good and pretty skilled. Like, I didn't think they were a bad team at all. Like, I, I definitely thought that they could be here. Like, I, I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna tell you guys my, my bracket, because now it's obviously f up, right? So, let's see. So, here written down, I had Tampa Bay versus Boston in the second round. And for the other uh, other series, where is it? New York. I had Washington versus P Pittsburgh, which it still does, does look like Washington, but it's not. It's definitely not no Pittsburgh. That's for damn sure. So I said Tampa Bay over Columbus in six games. I'm surprised I put six. Um, and then I put Pittsburgh over New York in six games. So I put Tampa Bay and New York over over in six games. Instead of them winning four, they they, they won none and they got swept in four. Isn't that crazy? Like, how do you predict a team's going to win in six and then they lose in four? Like, that's craziness. So once again, my bracket's totally effed up. I don't even need to tell you guys. That's, it's already effed up. So that's that. So so it's 2 nothing going into Pittsburgh. So I, I, at this point, I'm kind of like, okay, game, game, game three, it's in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh knows they have to win to, like, stay in the series. Otherwise, it's most likely over, right? So, you know, you're probably thinking, oh, yeah, they're going to get a win. They'll make it 2-1. Nope, they don't. So, who scores first? Let me see. So, Pittsburgh does score first, 12.54 until the, until the first period. Basically, Jordan Eberle, like, 20... Let me do the math. 22 plus 6. 28 seconds later, scores to make it a 1-1. Okay. A minute later, or a minute and two seconds later, uh, Brock Nelson's like, you know what? I don't want to tie. I'm just going to score. So, 2-1 New York. 2-1 uh, New York after 1. 
and no goals in the second, two on New York after two. Uh, Leo Komarov makes it three to one, 10 27 in. And then you're kind of thinking, wow. And then at 8, 8, 18 32, Anders Lee makes it 4 1. I have no idea if that was an empty net goal or not, but. And there you go. Pittsburgh loses 4 1, and New York wins 4 1. Oh, shoot. I, wait, did I. No, I, I never told you the game game two stats. Sorry. So, so, so game, game two shots 34 33, New York. Pittsburgh was 0 for 2 on the power power play. New York was 1 for 6 on the power play, and the hits were 41 36 towards New, for New York. Sorry, I just forgot to uh, add that in there. So game 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 three, as I just mentioned, New York won four a four to one, and they had a had a, had a three three nothing series lead. Once again, who who predicted that? I know I didn't. De I definitely know I didn't. Definitely know I didn't. And I'm just gonna shake my cap for a second. Anyway, here's some room here. I'm just gonna let her be here, so I can I can pat 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 her the whole video. So, the shots in the third game were 36-26 for New York. Kind of surprising. You kind of thought that New York would outshoot, or you pretty much thought that Pittsburgh at home would outshoot them, but then they got outshooted by 10. Outshot by 10, not outshooted. So, Pittsburgh was 0 for 3 in the power play. New York was 0 for 2 in the power play, so no power play goals. 0 for 5 combined. The shots were 58-47 for Pittsburgh, so they obviously played a really physical game. But, again, that, that didn't matter. The score was 4-1. The shots... The hits don't really matter. My cat's so cute. She's fat, but she's cute. So yeah, we have all with three nothing series lead going back back to Pittsburgh for game four. Will, uh, will Pittsburgh force a game five back in New York? We'll, uh, we'll see. So which leads me to today's game. Who scored first? I have no idea. I think it was Pittsburgh. I think Pittsburgh scored first in every single game. Am am I wrong? I have no idea if they did, but I, I think that they scored first in every single game. I'm, I'm going to double check that. But Jake Ensel scores 35 seconds into the fir first period, kind of like starting it off. Kind of like, you know what, bitch? Yeah, we're not going out in four. <laughs> yeah, they still did. Anyway, so they score to make it. And then, of course, Jor who else but Jordan? Jor Jor who else but Jordan Eberle scores like a minute and two seconds, a minute and something seconds later to make it 1-1. One -one. Later, towards the end of the first period, 1806 into it, a Brock bro Nelson, once again, 2-1 pit, 2-1 New York. And I was like, wow. Here we go again, second period, no goals. And then once again, Josh Bailey at 19-22 gets the 3-1 goal. Was that an empty netter? I, I think it was an empty netter. But no goals in the second, no goals in the third, really, except for that empty netter, which I'm assuming it was an empty netter. I, th I don't even remember, and the game was like two, an hour, two hours ago. But that's that. It's, it, it's a 3-1 New York win, and the Islanders sweep the Penguins, and the Penguins are gone. Bye, Tampa. Bye, Pittsburgh. Peace. Bye. So going into the stats for game four, 33-26, the shots were for Pittsburgh. 0 for 6 on the power play combined, 0 for 3, 0 for 3. His were 50 to 34 for New York. So another, like, pretty physical game. So now going into, like, the whole series kind of, kind of stat, stats ratio. So Pittsburgh had a 136 shot, shots on goal, while New York had 129. P Pittsburgh had 6 goals, New York had 14. Again, I have no idea which ones were empty netters, so I'm, I'm just going to say 12. Like, 12, that was, like, you know. So... Going into saves, j just by what, the 6 and 14 goals. So 130 out of 136 saved for New York, which is 95.5%. So basically they saved almost all, all of them. For Pittsburgh, 115 out of 129 save, which is 89%. Again, probably like 91, 92, uh, just including the uh, empty netters. Going into the power play, both teams are pretty garbage. No, no, uh, no offense. Pittsburgh was 1 for 11. Again, it's four games, so it's not like, you know, but one power, power play goal in 11 chances, 9%, while New York was no better, 2 for 13, with 15%. So the penalty kill was obviously really good. So for Pittsburgh, they killed 11 out of 13, which is 84%, and New York killed 10 out of 11, which is 90.9, nine, rounded to 91. And there's all your stats, basically. So New York wins, and... I forgot to mention, guys, in the first video, the Columbus video, if Columbus, if Toronto does beat Boston, Toronto has a 2-1 series lead right now. Yes. <laughs> anyway, 
So Toronto now has a, has a two one series lead. They're gonna try to make it th through three to one tomorrow. I really hope they do because like bro, that would that would be a great series like Toronto and Columbus. That would be really lit. And I forgot to mention that in the other, other video that I did. But Toronto Columbus will be pretty lit. E even Toronto and Boston will, will be pretty lit to be honest. Columbus is once again not gonna have home ice. So if Toronto wins the series, they have home ice in, in, in the next round, which is pretty big. I wanted to see Toronto in in the in any playoff series just have the first games at home, but no. 30 year in a row that Toronto is playing on the road to start and it sucks it sucks because you want to see them win at home like you want to see the games at home like you want to see it's all it's all jacked up like you don't want to see them already two games in whether you're tied or whether you're down 2-0 whether you're tied 1-1 up 2-0 like you don't want to do like you just want to be at home starting the whole thing you know what I mean it's just better so that being said Toronto Toronto winning they, they don't have home ice for Columbus, it doesn't matter. They're going to be on the road either way, but that didn't uh, affect them against the best team in the league. So Toronto should be scared, but Boston should be scared. They're, they're not thinking about Columbus right now because they have, they have their opponent right now to beat. Tr Tr Toronto's just focusing on Boston, and Boston is just focusing on Toronto. If Boston does not win tomorrow and Toronto wins, I think the series is over. But I'm not going to say it is for sure because Toronto was down through three one last year, and what happened? They forced a game seven. They had a three one four a one goal lead in the third period of game seven. Of course they blew it because that's like it's not really Toronto if it's if it's not them blowing it right so I mean so I'm just saying that would be a really good series again I forgot to mention that in the other video you're probably expecting this to be about New 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 York and Pittsburgh which it obviously was but yeah um, so once again New York sweeps Pittsburgh not as surprising to be honest in my opinion as the Toronto as the Columbus and Tampa Bay series. But it's still pretty surprising for me because they, I, I think the last time New York sw swept someone was like 40 years ago, if my math is correct. I don't know math, like 30, 35 to 40 years ago. And I think that that year they won a Stanley Cup. So that's also going to going to tell you some, something. It doesn't mean they're going to win the Stanley Cup. They have four wins out of, out of 16. Both Columbus and, t uh, and New York still need four, uh, 12 more wins. So they still have three more seri a series to win and they have to beat... Three teams another four times to win to win this, this in the cup, and if they do it, well then cool. But I don't see the Islanders being in. To be honest, I don't know. But yeah, so it's gonna be either Columbus versus Toronto, Boston, and for this one, it's gonna be New York versus. I actually have no idea who they're gonna verse. Who, 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 whoever wins, let me take a look here. So one no, so once again, I thought it was gonna be. Oh yeah, so they're gonna play the winner of Washington, Carolina. So it might be New York versus Washington, in which case I do think Washington has some ice. I have no idea. I wanna have to check. Give me one second. Washington is first in the Metropolitan, and New York is second. Yep. So no, Washington's gonna have home ice. Well, Washington will have home ice if they do win that series, and if it's Carolina, then New York will once again have home ice. So for. New York, you're hoping that Carolina can win tomorrow to make it a 2-2 series. And then you're hoping that they win somehow and then they'll have home ice again for the for the second straight round, which is pretty convenient. Like, oh my god, look at this, look at this. I predicted that they would be a step. Look at this, look at that. And that was my prediction. Well... My snake up's totally broken because I thought they were the champions. So, so are already to totally effed up. I I had them beating Columbus. I had them beating Boston, and then I had them beating Washington to make it to, to the to the finals where they would play Calgary apparently, and then they would they would win the finals. Nope, nope. Little did I know they would be out in four. Little did I know they wouldn't win one game out of out of the sixteen needed. I thought they would win all sixteen. They won none. None. Whatever, whatever, I just don't know, whatever. <laughs> but the fact is, New York beats Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay is out now, and New York will face the winner of Carolina and Washington. Again, if they play uh, Washington, they will not have home ice, and if they play Carolina, they will have home ice. So we, we all know what New York's hoping for, but apparently they don't have, have much trouble. Just like Columbus, they don't have any trouble of facing someone on the road. They don't, they don't care. They don't care. So they'll, they'll, they appear to have it done. But we'll see what happens in round two for these two teams. Maybe both teams will win again. I have no idea. But w wouldn't it be led to like see Columbus and New York? I, w I would kind of want to see that because like the like both teams that sweep in the first round. It always seems that in the first round there's always at least one sweep. There's always at least that one team that gets swept. Always. 
I swear to God, I don't remember any rounds or any any years that haven't been at least one sweep. I don't remember. In 2016, when Toronto played Washington, they were 0-6. I have no idea if there was a sweep that year. There probably was because there was at least one. And this is already the the second one of the night. So I don't think there's going to gonna be any more because obviously no one else is up 3-0, I think. Is anybody up 3-0? Well, let me take a look at this. I don't even remember. Because <laughs> if so, we could be in for a third sweep of the playoffs. Um, so that's 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1. So no more, uh, no more sweeps. So 2-2 two, two here in the first round. I wonder if there's going to be any in the second round. Probably not, but we'll see. So we'll see who, we'll, we'll see when and if New, New, New York and Columbus suffer their first loss. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I will do a round two preview for that as it comes. I'll probably do two more videos, or I'll probably do a few more videos on who whoever wins the series. I have no idea if I'll do them for all, all of them, because this is my second video out of a potential eight if I do them. I was just going to do a whole round one review, but that probably would be like 20, 30 minutes, knowing me. So I'm still going to do it separately. This is already 16 minutes. i gotta, I got I to gotta shut, shut, shut up and go to bed. Like... Anyway, guys, I hope you guys did like this video. Tell me, tell me in the comments what your prediction was. Were you right? Did you predict a sweep? I don't know, but I certainly did not. I did not think anybody was going to get swept, and then boom. Two, two sweeps that you would never expect, at least in my opinion. So uh, anyway, once again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and that's basically it. Go Leafs, go. You better win tomorrow or else I'm going to flip. Anyway. How was that? Bye. <laughs>